will uh, ask to all of you question what i would say to our vidya pratishthan and uh, this conference first i would like to thank the organizers for organizing such a thank you for this conference because it's really a very unique experience uh. for most of us we have not been to such a congress before so this is our first time and as young as we are we are quite fortunate to come for this event so i think everything in this place is quite nice the school is a it's a very large and nice school compared to our schools back in singapore i think this place is larger in that sense and um, so far what we have been through all the presentations i can see that yeah the students here even from uh, very young ages like 13 and 14 they are really very greatly involved in scientific research so give up my uh, our ideas and it is very important for us for practicing our english and uh, to uh, become a scientist in the future and thank you very much what is that one message that you would like to take back to your school to your institution to your country from this i'm just saying yes right what i have observed from the people of india especially the young scientists from this event is how they value ideas even the small ideas so i think what i i would like to share to my people back home is how the indian people value small ideas because from small ideas um um small ideas can blossom to um big opportunities and this on from hand and um, People in India, even small children, when they are interested in something, they'll they'll get involved in it and they'll think a lot about it and they'll really really do it, really learn it, and then and then they'll get a lot from what they what they want to know. Uh, Doctor APJ Abdul Kalam is he said uh, we have to. Imagine, because from imagination we could create something, and we have to create something, and we have to apply science to create something beautiful out of something ugly, and we need to use our imagination in creating something to to be applied into our into our daily life. Yesterday, Mr. Abdul Kalam <coughs> told us many quotes, but the quote that really strikes me most was that. Uh, what you desire will come true. So for me, it means that um, if we want to have a good environment, we should desire first, so that we can we will do everything to save our environment. Singapore and U.S. High School. Um, what I find about uh, your Indian young scientists is that their creativity, because uh, and the opportunities that they have. Because um, I seen yesterday some presentations and they're very good, especially what the students know, and I feel that. Um, They've given so much opportunities to look into areas of research like uh, certain vegetables that have chemical properties which could help um, your population. And I feel that if you can nurture these children on, especially with your education system, which I think is also very good, uh, ultimately you will develop very good scientists both in, in, both in uh, biotechnology and other aspects. Uh, this is the first time I come to India. And uh, last night I had uh, heard the talk of uh, the former uh, president. It was uh, very interesting uh, for me and for all of us because uh, he advised all of us have to uh, courage to take part in the science. And science is a large uh, problem. It's a very difficult issue for us, but we have to and uh, have to courage to take part in. And uh, every day we have to put the question: What, when, why? For every where and every place and this morning I have seen the exhibition and it is uh, good for me because I had learned a lot of uh, small children to uh, do uh, science and so this thing I will take it to my country and I can ask the question to my principal in my school and to help my school to do as uh, children in India. I think the more the most important for science process is problem setting. I found that Indian, Indian children have a very, very interesting problem setting process. From uh, the various uh, presentations here from the Indian scientists have uh, 
been developed on the basis of this uh, guidebook that you have, especially for teachers, I want to tell you that, and that the children have got to work, have to work in a team. They must have a team of at least three, four, five young people working together. And uh, it has to have uh, an element of science. If, if your uh, overall experience, and for Vanna and for you, sir, if your overall experience is a rich experience, that you feel that coming all the way, interacting with these young people here in India, and uh, looking at the exhibition, looking at other things that we are um, organizing for the Indian scientists, is rich for you, is enriching for you, has been useful for you, then we would like to make this into an annual event. Because anyway, for the Indian children, we will have next year again, 27th to 31st December, such an opportunity. It may not be in Baramati, it will be at some other place. Potentialities on either side, which can be exploited for common benefits. So, definitely, the, the theme biodiversity is quite important. Many uses are uh, directed towards the uh, common benefits and sources. Our own, besides just consumption, there are medicinal values, properties. So, these studies can be conducted in your countries as well as they are conducted here also. So many potentialities are there. Collaboration. And if we like to have this an annual uh, participation from ASEAN, um, ASEAN Secretary welcome the proposal for Department of Science and Technology of India. So we could uh, facilitate it to the ASEAN committee once it's approved. We we'll sent to the Indian Embassy in Jakarta, and I was sent to India. And I find that the Indian government gives priority on children, especially science. Therefore, I hope that the Indian government will approve every year, so we can bring students here. Doctor, and uh, one thing that really catches my eyes, the crowd. You have very uh, large crowd attending every every activities and uh, in Russia we have similar programs but we are facing difficulties in attracting students to uh, not just students maybe the public to uh, come and uh, get involved with the program uh, hopefully um, when we come up, when I go back to my country I will be able to um, grab on this idea and try to implement some of the ideas into our programs and hopefully we, we will get uh, more participation since our objective right now the Ministry of Education is to promote science and technology because in the future in the near future we will need a lot of uh, people in the field of uh, technology and we do a similar style of presentation in the Philippines but I think I salute the Indian government and the ASEAN for conducting a global um, approach to this matter because this um, emphasizes that science is something universal.